We are going out of this world with Dr. Ayomawa Shields. She's an astronomer, astrobiologist, mom, and author. Her new book is called Life on Other Planets, a memoir of finding my place in the universe. Ayomawa, thank you so much for joining us here on GMA. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So I've started listening to the audiobook version of this. I got a little uh, review copy, and <laughs> I've got to say, it is so absolutely fascinating. And you are a scientist, but this goes far beyond that universe, right? That universe of science. It does. It does. You know, I, for so long, I was trying to reconcile what felt like this conflict between these two things that I loved, science and the arts, astronomy and acting. And I spent a lot of time choosing. I, cho I chose one, and that didn't feel fully right. And then I chose the other, and that didn't feel fully right. And this book is the journey to discovering that it was never about choosing. It was about acknowledging that those parts of myself existed, accepting them and embracing them, and then staying open to the universe showing me the possibilities for combining them. Mm -hmm. And so I want other people to, you know, who have those sort of multiple interests or things that they feel called to do that they aren't, or that, that they that think- That may seem to be competing at times. Mm -hmm. That might, you know, or that they feel like there's a dream that they've left by the wayside and that they think it might be too late to know that it's never too late and there's no one way. There's no one way to be a scientist. There's no one way to be an artist. There's no one way to do anything. The way to do it is to be them doing it. I love that, and the way you put it. I was actually listening to your TED Talk as well, and the thing that, thing that struck me was how you're able to talk about science in a way that connects to everybody and, and like our everyday lives. As people consider space and the universe, what do you think is most important for people to think about? Well, I want people to know that they don't have to go get a degree in astronomy to appreciate the universe, that the universe is for them, that they are an integral part of the universe, and that space is for everyone. And all they need to do is look up at night to see the stars, that the stars are shining, and they're not just shining as pretty things to look at. They're shining to inspire people to shine, to inspire us to let our oh, light love shine. Yes, I just read the book, The Alchemist, and they talk so much about your soul being part of the soul of the universe. And you said the, the universe sending you signs about how to combine them both. And it's right up my alley. Talk to us more about understanding, receiving those signs from the universe. Yes, you know, I thought I had to figure it out and I'm, I'm a doer. So there's that default mode that is, you know, if I just work hard enough and think hard enough, I'll figure out a way to combine these things. And really the most exciting turning points in my life came from not doing very much at all. You know, I, I acknowledged that these parts of myself were, were present and I wanted to honor them. And then the universe showed me ways to combine them, like hosting a science TV show. You know, I, I didn't imagine that for myself. Or doing a TED talk, you know, that sort of fell into my lap. A colleague suggested that I apply for a TED fellowship. And there I was giving this TED talk where I'm talking about space and science and I'm using my acting training. And so, you know, there's not very much that we have to do to tell the universe that we're willing and we're open, just yeah. staying open. Mm. And, but, I, but we do have to acknowledge that those parts of ourself exist, you know? Why play small when the universe is so big? You know, Carl Sagan said that we are, we are all made of star stuff. Mm. And yes, that's about the calcium in our teeth, but it's also about our hopes and our dreams. And those come from the universe too. Those are gifts from the universe. And the universe wants all of us. Really, the universe can hold it all. Wow. Uh, what do you say to, to women who are nervous about being moms in a professional space and merging those two worlds? Yes. You know, I felt that conflict when I went back to the workforce after having my daughter. I was worried that I wasn't going to be around enough and that she was going to miss me and, and that, that I wasn't enough. You know, that I am not enough story is a story that I told myself for a really long time as I write in the book. And that's just a story that I chose to believe. And once I realized that, I could tell myself a new story and choose to believe that. And the new story is that by letting my light shine by pursuing the thing that lights me up inside, I'm actually of greater service to my daughter than not doing that. I get to spread the joy and share that joy with her and with my husband and our family because I'm fulfilled. There's no greater gift that we can give to our loved ones than being who we are meant to be and doing the thing that we love doing. Yes, absolutely. And I've got to know, 
Do you think, real quickly here, that we will find life on other planets in our lifetime? You know, I think we have the instrumentation. We're on our way to being able to tell what's in the atmosphere of these small Earth-sized planets. And once we can tell what's in the atmosphere, we might be able to pick out what in the atmosphere is showing us that life is there. And I think, you know, we could do it either in my lifetime or definitely in my daughter's. Oh, wow. I love that. Okay. That is fascinating. You, you heard it amazing. here first, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just amazing. Thank you, Dr. Shields, for being here. Life on Other Planets is out this Tuesday, July 11th. So we are looking forward to that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.